Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Tommy Grimes and I vlog about people, places, and things that I love from the city of brotherly love to the city of angels. Today, I'm enlisting the help of my friend Whitney to show you how to take a 23andMe DNA test. I've been making lots of vlogs over the past year about DNA testing as it aids me in the search for my late father's biological family. But there's definitely a lot more to it than that. I've made a few vlogs about the backstory and I'll be making a documentary series about it going forward. So stay tuned for more on that. All right. Let's get started. Here we go. Hi, my name is Whitney Nielsen. I'm in Los Angeles, California. I'm originally from New Jersey, went to school in Philly. Uh, I'm out here acting. I've been an actress out here for about 11 years now. Uh, it's going strong, I love it. I have a film coming out called Behemoth. It's a really dark horror movie, really scary. Uh, not for the faint at heart. It should be coming out pretty soon. We're actually looking for distribution. So if you or anyone knows uh, someone to be a good fit for a nice horror movie, just go to behemothfilm.com and hit them up. You can also contact me at Little Hoagie on Instagram or just Whitney Nielsen on Facebook. And <laughs> what's in this box? <laughs> oh, what's in the box? You'll find your instructions, tube, funnel with a lid, cap, and seal bag. Make sure you don't puncture the film on the funnel lid. Step one. You can either download the 23andMe app and get instructions there, or go to 23andMe.com start. There, you'll register your kit with the barcode. It's a good idea to write the number down or take a picture of it just in case. Step two, don't eat, drink, chew gum, brush your teeth, or smoke for at least 30 minutes before you take your test. Step three, spit in the tube until your saliva reaches the line. <laughs> you don't, it looks like you might have to fill it up all the way here, that's a lot of spit. It's actually like a little stopper right where this dotted line is and it's only from there to there. I really thought I was gonna have to fill this whole thing up with spit. Make sure it's not just bubbles. I, <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird, but when I smell like corn chips, it makes my, my mouth water <laughs> a lot. So I figured maybe it would help me fill up <laughs> yeah, okay, I think that'll work. Okay, remember, no, we don't want bubbles. Mm. This feels so <laughs> wrong. Okay, that's like not a lot of spit, okay. Bubbles will go down. It's not an attractive thing to do. Okay, we're getting there, people. Tune back two years later when I finish spitting into this cup. Oh, I got it on myself too. We're getting there. So I have bubbles. Those will come down. Bubbles are to the fill line, but we want actual quality spit. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep on going. Let's give it a little break up those bubbles. Mmm. I know what you're thinking. Stop talking. You're making your mouth dry. I am. <laughs> so tip. Don't talk while you're doing this, just focus on your spit. That was quality. <laughs> Y'all are hating on this, just try it, I swear. Really close here. Nice, greasy cheese stick. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think that'll do it. We did it, all for a good cause. It seems strange to spit into something for five minutes, but it's worth it. Step four, holding your tube upright, close the funnel lid like this. Push firmly until you hear it click. The liquid in the lid then mixes with your saliva. Step five, keeping the tube upright, unscrew the funnel from the tube and toss it. Screw on the cap to seal the tube and shake it for five seconds. I need to work out. <laughs> <laughs> and I got spit too. Step six, now place the tube with the cap on it into the plastic bag with the absorbent pad and seal the bag. Don't take the absorbent pad out of the bag. That stays in there. Sealed. Signed, sealed, delivered. <laughs> Step seven, put the plastic bag with the tube inside the original box that came with your DNA kit. Take off the peel and seal it shut. Then put it in the mail. Postage is already paid. Step eight, 
Now the waiting game begins. First, you should get an email from 23andMe telling you that they've received your sample, and another when your results are in. The DNAgeek.com estimates that the wait time for processing to be about two weeks. Okay, so we're done. That was easy, super simple. I'm excited to see what I'm gonna find. I know on my dad's side, he's half Irish, half Danish, and uh, my mom's side is kind of a, a mix of a whole lot of things. So it's gonna be really cool to, I guess, uh, figure out some more about myself and my family. I think at this time in my life, this is a good point to really dive in there. As a kid, you don't, I don't know, I didn't really care too much, and now it's getting to that point where we really have to hold on to what we have. And, and especially for acting too, I get the question all the time. Uh, you know, what are you? Are you this, are you that, are you this, you that? They're always trying to just put you in places. Uh, so now, I mean, I might have a better answer or maybe I can still keep it hush hush. It'll be my little secret. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is really cool, I'm really excited. So we'll see you soon with the results. So that's it. Once we get Whitney's results back, we'll make another vlog with her reaction. If you wanna find more of Whitney's work, I'm gonna put links in the description and on the screen. Uh, she is a very talented actress. You can order your 23andMe DNA test for $99 at 23andMe.com, but always be on the lookout for deals over the holidays. These kits are always going on sale throughout the year as well. I have lots more vlogs about DNA testing if you wanna find out when DNA test kits go on sale, an in-depth comparison between 23andMe versus Ancestry DNA, how to upload your raw DNA, and much more, you can head over to my channel page and find those videos in my DNA testing playlist, or you can click the card at the top corner of the screen. Also, I have more vlogs about the search for my father's biological family, my adventures in LA and Philly, in addition to the videos about people, places, and things that I love. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you wanna follow me on my journey. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments what you did to pass the time while you were waiting for your DNA test results to come back. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again real soon. California, I'm really, uh, originally, nope, going. It's like you're milking a cow, but your, your glands. I would have too. Oops, sorry, excuse me, bleep that. Letting us know what we think our ancestry is. I'm gonna start over. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying anything. <laughs> mm -hmm.